welcome everyone to a new Two Super Gamers video. It's your boy Zero. And I'm Nanners. And we got a special request video, actually. That is correct. Uh, we got contacted by Red Star Interactive. They wanted us to check out their new game, Get a Grip Chip. And that's what we're going to do today is a PC game. It's already out. It's available on Steam. It's also available on some other platforms like Mac and Linux and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's an indie platforming game. Hans with the controller. That's right. So uh, yeah, why don't we get into it? I mean, I do have my Switch controller. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, no, it's a PC game. You play with mouse, you play with keyboard. Don't you start with this. That's a strange turn I did not expect you to take. But all right, I'm with it. Let's do it. <laughs> no, yeah, because I'm, I'm much more comfortable with actual controllers, so I get what you mean. Usually with platforming games, especially if we're about to play through that. But So, so far we have a little bit of uh, a, a cutscene here. To explain the game a little bit, uh, we are here to help Chip save the lost battery bots on his perilous journey to the treacherous depths of a robot assembly factory. So I really like it because I like the uh, I like the atmosphere. I like being in a factory. I like this kind of environment. I think it's gonna make for some cool levels. I'm loving the art. Are you kidding me? This shit looks fantastic. Looks like it's made on paper. And now the art is completely different. It's very oh boy. Oh boy. Left and right. Okay, cool. All right, so I have to aim, of course, with the mouse. And I don't think there's a way to jump. All right, so you gotta use your grappling hook. Oh, so I jump while by grappling. All right, this is gonna take some getting used to, obviously, but I'm not hating it. This works really well. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, at the start they did show you that it was like four buttons. It was the space, the AD, and um, whatever you're using to grapple. Ah. Yeah, yeah, so this works really well. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I just kind of wish it, it, it reached a little bit farther, but I guess that's just part of the challenge. That's the point, yeah. Oh, I think I have to grab it. All right. One second, one second. I got to try this. All right. All right. Uh, going up, going up. And uh, there we go. Sweet. You know, it's not exactly like it, but this, this thing right here is kind of reminding me just of Metroid. Uh, the way that you would have to go into the uh, balled up uh, version of Samus and then throw up a bomb and then use that bomb to propel yourself upwards. It's not completely the same because here you're doing it all through a grapple hook, but it reminds me of it a little. Oh, cool. So this kind of reminds me of... Uh, I can't remember the exact name of the game, but you would collect... Oh! Uh, Abe's uh, Abe's Odyssey. Abe's Odyssey. Uh, so you'd have to save your little your little buddies, and then take them to somewhere safe so they can basically not die. I actually, I actually, uh, I know that game. You're talking about the original one that was on the PS One, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got a request to play that, and I did, and it was kind of hard to come back to, but it really made me think like. If it just wasn't so creepy, I think I would have loved it as a kid, but that game was really creepy. Oh, no, no, no. As a kid, I don't think I'd, I, I would have been able to play it myself. I totally get you. But as an adult, I'm like, this is genius. The puzzling is just freaking amazing for this game. So you're saying that this is related because you're recruiting, like, allies. Yeah, you're saving your little buddies, you see? Now he's just going to follow you, just like in Abe's Odyssey. And right up, and uh, he'll keep following you right up until the point where you can save him, like put him somewhere where you'll be safe. Or just like in a Odyssey, he'll follow you to his death. <laughs> that is also true. Let's not forget. There we go. Now he's safe. All right, cool. You pack him in the little Futurama tube and send him off on his way. Yo, Futurama! God, that show's amazing. Oh, cool. All right. So, isn't it we? Yo, have you ever watched Doug back in the day on Nickelodeon? I have. Fucking love that show, but believe it or not, the guy who did the voice for Doug also did the voice for Fry in Futurama. Oh, it's, uh, what's his name? Yeah, he's in a lot Lonely of West, stuff. I think it is? Yeah, West. Yeah, he's in, he's in a lot. Ooh. Oh, you didn't get the, you didn't get the buddy. I want to get the buddy. But I need a... Or 
over it. Be patient. Oh, there we go. See, it, it's clever platforming, and I love it. This is great. My it, my instinct was actually to kind of uh, wait, but on the second uh, grapple point, but then you showed me that you could just jump on top of it. I'm glad that I didn't start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the better instinct, apparently. I'm more used to platforming games where you have a jump button, so this is out of my element, but I do love platformer games. Ooh. Is this a bonus stage? Oh, I think it is. I've been playing a lot of Crash 4 lately, so I'm thinking like bonus level and shit. Now, are we supposed to get all of the characters? Because if we are, then this is, this can't be a bonus stage because you just got another character. Uh, this would just be another, a room that you go to. Oh. Huh. I'm assuming the bright, le the bright red lava is going to kill you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 you know, it'll just melt my circuits, and it'll kill me. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, hop on over. Ooh. Oh, oh, yeah, you can't jump. Okay, yeah. You remember, dude, there's no jumping. Mm -hmm. There's only... Uh, Grappling. Get, getting a grip. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> yeah. Is a robot's name Chip? I think it is. Yes, that is correct. That is what the long description says. <laughs> I'm breaking the fourth wall here for you, Hans. Uh... Which, by the way, thank you, uh, Red Start, again, for sending us this game. It yeah. is a lot of friggin' fun. Yeah. No, I mean, it's... And and we... We had, uh... We had gotten into contact with them thanks to Play NYC. Which, again, if you haven't checked out any of our videos, we have tons of great content from that. Of tons of great indie games and developers and stuff. It, it was a lot of fun this year. Oh, for sure. If you guys are interested, we'll have it, like, in the little eye at the top right. I'll link it right there so you guys can see what we mean. Ooh, okay, so that, so that worked. I think you're good. Wait, I feel... Yeah, there might be something down here. <laughs> or, there's nothing and then you're stuck. <laughs> but, yeah, there you go. Ooh! Good call. It, that's, that's a very... I, I, I'm really... I always look out for stuff like that with platforming games because of Little Big Planet. That's a very little big planet, like hidden spot, and I love it. Me too. So I didn't save everyone, unfortunately. No, no, you didn't. But no, I, I'm liking this. All right, so let's switch over. Let's let you play real quick. Also, let's point out real quick. Take a quick second. This is the first time we've done an in-person TSG recording Yo. in seven months. <laughs> That's right. You forgot to mention that. All right, one second. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so we have not been in person in a while, and it just so happens that just before we got this request for this specific video, I was going to be coming over here anyway, and yeah, here we are, and this is the first thing we get to do again together, and uh, that's pretty chill. I forgot what I forgot what Zero looks like. Ha! <laughs> well, I mean, we did do some uh, on-screen stuff, Nanis, so... Yeah. That's so right, we've been oh, trying... You're, you're doing level one again. No. Are you? I think I am. It's fine. Yeah, that's right. We do do some on-screen stuff, but um, it's it's just you you miss it. It doesn't have the same uh, it doesn't have the same to it. No. Doesn't have the same gravitas. Oh, look at that! These can break. No, oh. I think there's a cooldown on them. So if you do one, there's a cooldown and there's a timer, so you have to do it. That's interesting. Yeah, that's our fault because there was a little thing in the top left we didn't I didn't read it. We're horrible. We don't read, I tell ya. We don't read, I tell ya. Didn't hold, uh, didn't hold D. There you go. I knew there was, I knew there was something there. Oh, I wouldn't have even looked. Again, Little Big Planet has prepared me for this game. In fact, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, maybe there's something there too. Yeah, Little Big Planet has prepared me for this game. That's for sure. And mind you, this is my first time trying this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Just, I mean, I'm still feeling it out. Ooh, gotta test everything. I would imagine you touch those, you go to the shadow realm. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, uh, there's the Futurama tube. See, we would have been confused, because, like, we'd get here, like, where was the guy? We didn't even see one. So, yeah. 
Nice, uh, nice move, developer, hiding that from us. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, there's a little robot thing oh. there. You gotta go get it. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem, I think. There you go. There's the guy. There's a little buddy. Smash little it up. Battery pack. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I actually think I even remember. To be honest, I think I remember uh, seeing this at the on the exhibitors page for Play NYC this year. Uh, so yeah, we probably just it. didn't get a chance to try it. No, there's so many great, uh, so many great games over there, as there always are every year. Ooh. So again, that's really cool about having someone reach out to you, because otherwise you would have missed this. No, indeed. And the thing is, we're only two guys. We can only do so much. Yeah, we could only do so much, and we were doing it remotely. Yeah. So it's not like we could have compared lists and look, looked at things uh, together. Uh, as a matter of fact, when we made our lists, we had a few games that were the same. Like, we had uh, matching games yeah. that we wanted to try. So we had to basically continually try over and over to see if we can find other other games. We also had to cut stuff, too, because at some point it just became... Like, I think... Yeah, there were, there were two games that I want, really wanted to play, and I should still get in on that. But, uh, yeah, we just didn't have the time for it. It's just unfortunately the way it is. That's just how it worked. Well, it, it's how too stupid gaming work, you know? Oh, ah, no! Yeah, we got our first death. No, Nanas, how could you, you evil monster? You, you killed gotta, Chip. That's how it is, bro. You gotta risk it for the biscuit. Risk it for the biscuit. That's literally the first time I've ever heard that. That's a, I'm gonna start using that. Oh! Oh! Ha. I'm trying to get a feel of the timing on the, like the platforms at the bottom when it's safe for me to go over there. Ooh, I barely made that. But yeah, I mean, this game. What I like about it. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. <laughs> I'm so used to the idea of just all you have to do is uh, make contact and you're good. You, but here you also have to. No, you gotta you gotta clip it. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm so used to puzzle platforming games with like a charming retro aesthetic. But they always have a jump button. This one doesn't have that. I like it. It's taking me out of my comfort zone. This reminds me of when I first started playing Tearaway for the Vita. Really? Because when you play Tearaway for the Vita for like the first, I guess, 30 minutes or so, you didn't have a jump button. Oh, dude, Tearaway would be a sick playthrough. Right it would be amazing. I have it on the PS4. We could probably Me too. I, again, I would not mind playing it. Guys, this is how we come up with ideas, which is all off the cuff. It totally just happens randomly. Quite literally. <laughs> but no, uh, so when you played it for the Vita for like the first 30 minutes, you didn't have a jump button. You had to use the back touchpad. Mm -hmm. And it had to be on a like drum-like surface for you to be able to jump. Yo, we missed one, and it's kind of bugging me. I know we don't have all day for this, but it is bugging me. I want to go back and see if maybe we can find it real quick. I kind of felt like this spot over here has something I'm missing, but I could be wrong. Wouldn't it be weird if that door opened, like that garage door right there? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe. Just maybe. Oh, oh, clever. Yo. Again, hidden in plain sight, as they say. Because I, to explain the little big, the mechanic that I've seen in Little Big Planet a million times, which is why I recognize it so well, is that it's it looks like it's uh, just part of the level, like foreground, but in fact it's a hidden spot. And there you go. Oh, that's cool. You could take it to any checkpoint. Yeah, it doesn't have to be the one that's closest. Yeah. Oh, you definitely have to go up there. There's something hidden up there. Definitely. Hidden collectible sensors are going off. There we go. I knew it. Ooh. Oh, that box is moving quick. <laughs> oh, I had the... Um, hmm. Nanas. Yeah. We trusted you. That was misguided. <laughs> Again, I got our first death and uh, plural at this point. Oh. Also, I love how Chip's face moves depending on where you're aiming the uh, mm -hmm. the cursor. Yeah. It's it it's really good attention to detail, and whoever did that 
I applaud you. Who knows? Because a lot of a lot of other developers and a lot of other people wouldn't even bother. Yeah, no, it's it has a nice. It really does. I'm so sick of saying, oh, this game has a nice art style, but it really does have a nice art style. Oh, good catch, dude. <laughs> I would have missed it myself. <laughs> I'm like, wait, we're not. No, no, we're not. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. There was still something there. <laughs> Got you got all. everything. Woo. Oh, what? way to go! Yeah, that was so. That was pretty cool. That's get a grip chip. Indeed. By Red Star Interactive. You guys can go check them out. The game is available for Steam and Mac and uh, sorry, Steam, so PC, Mac and Linux. <laughs> a lot of computer games. I'm sure at some point they probably would bring something like this to um, like other platforms as well. But yeah, for sure. Very cool. Definitely check them out. And if you guys enjoyed the episode, let us know. Let us know in the comments. What does this game remind you of? Uh, are you planning on getting it? And what did you like most? Let us know in the comments. Or just curse us out. We don't care. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, thank you so much to Red Star. And we will see you guys on the next TSG video. Take care. See ya.